Capricorn. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 31st of May to the 6th of June 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome as well. So Capricorn, you have Number 14, Chameleon Spirit, Act As If. Beautiful, love that. You know how they can camouflage and change colors to adjust to whatever their surroundings are? Act as if, act as if everything is, I don't know if you have that saying, honky-dory, meaning act as if everything is okay, act as if you know what's going on, and um, using that camouflage even, um, I mean, even if you need to use it as that camouflage, that chameleon spirit, but definitely acting as if. So Capricorn Moontrology, you get the full moon in Gemini, the answers you need are coming. Act as if the answers you need are coming. Put that into one sentence, act as if the answers you need are coming. Brilliant. Great match there. Right, so Capricorn, let's begin here. And apologies, Capricorn. Um, luckily, somebody commented um, the quick fire reading I did last weekend I wrote cancer twice <laughs> and it's like and they're like where's Capricorn <laughs> it's like my bad <laughs> but um, thank you for spotting that and giving me the time to fix that up for you muchly appreciated okay so Capricorn there's love overall for the week. Somebody significant, soulmate, twin flame, maybe an existing relationship that's moving forward. It may be a brand new love that you are meeting that is actually going to become somebody quite significant in your life. Maybe the answers you need are coming. Maybe chameleon spirit act as if that's there. Could be dealing with a Gemini, as I said, but the love is overall for the week past energies you've got the two of swords the six of wands and the hierophant so feeling like you're at a crossroads when it came to making decisions you felt like everybody was making decisions for you um, telling you where to be who to be with where to work where to live you know like pretty much in control and um, you felt like you were at a crossroads um, but you were wanting some clarity there but um, coming out with that victory with the six of wands in the past there was a win maybe a win for standing up for your own beliefs standing up for yourself and saying well look here this is how it's going to be this is how i'm doing it so i love that present energies i nearly said future energies present energies first you get the eight of swords the queen of wands and the sun okay so feeling like you're in the stalemate situation unable to go any further on this journey but actually finding other ways around things when things are there trying to block your way forward it may mean it take longer to get to your destination but so be it you know it doesn't mean you have to come to a grinding halt you've got vision you've got goals you've got that confidence you've got that determination to go after those dreams and the sun bringing you a sense of freedom and release bringing you all this happiness and joy there so love that and there's happiness and joy in your future energies love brand new love ace of cups ten of pentacles queen of pentacles success when it comes to this new love proud of your achievements and how far you've come possibly with this new love again it may be an existing relationship stepping up into a new chapter maybe brand new love that you're meeting for the first time it could even be a job that you love or a home that you love or a pet that you love um, a car maybe but it could be love love <laughs> and um, there's success there for the taking and you're proud of the achievements that you've had to go through to get to where you are 
so I love that Capricorn. So we'll do the clarifications for each of these. All right, starting with the lovers. Nine of Wands, Queen of Wands, Five of Wands. Okay, so overcoming all these hurdles and obstacles, possibly with this love, but determined and confident to go after a new goal, a new dream. There's been a lot of conflict, a lot of drama. Um, you may be directly involved in that. You may be um, sitting on the sidelines, watching all this drama unfold around you, and you're like, yeah, don't want a bar of it. Act as if you're not involved in all that and um, yeah, banging your head against a brick wall maybe. Past energies, two of swords, you've got the Empress, King of Pentacles, Judgment. Keeping an open mind, being very intuitive of not only your own feelings but of those around you as well. Okay, there's a success. You're inundated with success back there in the past. Getting control of finances. You're not, not judging others, not letting them judge you. And again, using that intuition. Very aware of what's going on out there in the big wide world. Six of Wands. You get the Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Yeah, success and leaving behind some sort of emotional attachment that was a very painful cycle for you in the past working really hard you put all the hard work and all the effort into making this work and it was just causing you more pain and more pain and more pain so and success and being able to walk away from that not needed anymore again it may be a job it may be a home but it may also be um, personal but um, there is a victory there with that six of wands we're clarifying to be able to leave that cycle behind in the Hierophant, you've got the Four of Cups, King of Cups, Nine of Cups. Yeah, quite tunnel visioned, quite stubborn and focused on one particular thing, you know, and it may be what others were coming in and telling you, this is the one you need to be looking after, this is the one that you need to be following, and, um, and then missing these opportunities that were still around you there. But gaining control, gaining control of your emotions, gaining control of um, love and happiness there with the King of Cups, right at your fingertips and standing up for your own beliefs with that Hierophant that we are clarifying. So Capricorn, present energies, Eight of Swords, you've got the Ace of Swords, the Tower, Four of Pentacles, love it. Cutting the crap out that you don't need, starting a brand new beginning because things built up and built up and built up. There was something you were still hanging on to for dear life, but it may have built to a point of um, that tower exploding and releasing everything in order to pave the way for this brand new beginning to be built, um, brand new chapter to be had and making sure that it is solid from the ground up. Queen of Wands, you get the Nine of Swords, Two of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, brand new beginnings along your present energy line. Feeling at a crossroads, there's been sleepless nights, there's been a lot of stress and anxiety, maybe a lot of worry about repeating past um, cycles, but actually that's um, this Ace of Pentacles. This brand new beginning takes over. Love that. And you've got two Aces along this um, present energy line, so definitely a new beginning being able to see a clear path, which journey, which way, which direction, I suppose, that you're wanting to be heading towards and um, bringing those sleepless nights to an end. And you've got the sun. What better outcome do you need? The full three of wands, page of pentacles. Yeah, maybe taking a leap of faith towards working with somebody here to make a successful go of things. Seeing them in a better light maybe with the three of wands, seeing the bigger picture, seeing things clearly. And as I said, maybe someone and it may be in a more positive light than what you initially thought. Others of you taking a leap of faith and a risk with this new um, offer that's coming in with this page of pentacles. You're clarifying the sun opportunity for everything to be there for you love that hope that's for all of you you've got future energies new love ace of cups with the devil the hermit and the ten of pentacles yeah may take this new love to break the chains break the shackles that you feel bound to here okay could be dealing with a capricorn could be dealing with a virgo but capricorn that's your card there 
Virgo is the hermit, but seen light at the end of the tunnel. Success. Brand new love may bring success in breaking this energy up here. Comes with some soul searching, but as I said, seen, seen light at the end of the tunnel where you're heading towards. And then you go into this Ten of Pentacles with the Hanged Man, the Lovers, and the Star. Yeah, maybe still sitting on the fence when it comes to this um, significant other or the soulmate twin flame. You know what you're wishing and for, you know what you're hoping for, but um, you still may be a bit indecisive. Maybe about, again, repeating patterns. So maybe this new is new love and um, yeah, you're biding your time whether or not to go with this, give this a go. But um, I think underneath it's what you're hoping for. You're wanting that successful outcome, possibly with love. And the Queen of Pentacles, you get the Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, New Love, Ace of Cups, what she started with over this side. So doing some self-healing, okay, everybody needs to do that. It's taking the blindfold off, seeing there's no obstacles in your way when it comes to this new love. As I said, could be home, could be work, could be personal, um, could be existing, could be brand new. But um, definitely finding other ways around things to... To reach this new love. Chameleon Spirit and Full Moon and Gemini act as if the answers you need are coming. So the universe has the Four of Pentacles, the High Priestess and the universe. So still hanging on to something, not wanting to let go of something or someone maybe, but remaining balanced with what you have got here. Okay, could be not um, could be dealing with Pisces like high priestess is not wanting to let your guard down using your intuition being very observant but not wanting to be overwhelmed by everything all at once and what more could you want here the universe divine timing it'll if it's meant to be it will be it'll happen if it's meant to happen and as it's meant to happen and when it's meant to happen but that universe is giving you that forward oomph giving you that momentum and that push and um, continuing that movement. So love it Capricorn. And we finish with the Star Temple. And you get, love it, number four, the universal midwife birth. I birth fruitful and sacred assignments. Look at all the aces you had in that bottom row there. And um, actually throughout the reading, and birth, new beginnings, new chapters. So love that. That world has an assignment for you. Okay, so love that. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.